I'm David, and welcome to Happy Turnings. White oak. <clears throat> About an inch and a half at the thickest point here. Um, from gray end to gray end, it is uh, six and three quarters across. Make a little shallow bowl out of this, I'm thinking. Mask and face shield up. And we're going with a wall gouge. See how long it takes to talk to get a new edge on it. So white oak has a tendency to really uh, take the edge out quick on these guys. So we'll see. <clears throat> Starting off all the way low, off to the side. So if anything uh, comes coming off of here, I'm not in the way of direct path of it. Uh, this is fairly wobbly to start off with. You might see my lights bouncing around or something along those lines. I'm going to speed it up a bit and see if we can't get that to offset itself a little. I am doing this between centers as well. So you will see me tighten this up from time to time. About 670, 660. Nice and tight. Be off to the side a little bit. We can't take this nice and. in a little bit. Make sure we got good clearance on all sides. Everything's looking okay. I'm not seeing any major cracking or anything like that. We are coming in quite a bit so I can actually speed it up a little bit. That'll actually help with some of these uh, this knocking. So let's, uh, we'll start off all the way low. Off to the side again. <clears throat> About 950, it looks like. 970. We'll be all right. a little bit more. <clears throat> also tighten it down just a little bit more as well. There we go. Tighten our tool rest in a little bit. Once again I'm starting all the way low <clears throat> and then turning it up from there. We're a lot more true to the lathe at this point, so I should be able to get quite a good speed for the most part. About 400 RPM.
have another still have a flat spot right there, so we still gotta come in there a little bit more. We'll come back into our, our bowl side here at some point, but uh wanna get this down far enough where I can flatten this out a bit. In fact I might pull this guy in a bit here. It's always while we spin it. Make sure we grab ourselves the ribbon. Pick it off through just a little bit there. That's all right. Let's leave it at about uh, 1,100 here. there with our, our foot here. Let me take it down just a little bit more. We also have uh, this portion right here and this side right here that need to be cleaned up a bit more <clears throat> and the flat spot there. <clears throat> so we're going to take this in just a bit more, bring it down and see if we can't form that tendon a little bit better. Then we brought our tool rest in. I'm one to just reset each time just to make sure I'm not... Uh, not going to hit anything, break it off. You know, make sure I'm safe. Okay, all the way down, off to the side. There's the speed from there. And about uh, 1500 right here. Still about 1200. 1230. This side still needs to be shaped a little bit better. But we're getting there. The tenon's just about formed. Still have that uh, shy side right there. So we'll clean this up, go a little bit deeper, and then we'll cut it back. And then we'll make a nice, really thinned out bowl here. Let's see. Let's we'll see how we do. Let's we'll see how we do. Always worried about cracks in this, uh, this wood. This was uh, self obtained about two years ago. Sharpening, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's catching in on this uh, bark, the bark side there, right along that edge. All right, I'm gonna sharpen this, and uh, we're we'll back. <clears throat> uh, here we're back. I don't know if you can see this or not? Let's see if I can get that edge up there. Not really. It's pretty edge though. You gotta, uh, there you are. Maybe. Yeah. I have a 350 grit CBN wheel. With an 80 grit to shape and then a 350 grit to get a nice fine edge on there. Doesn't really need to be that fine. Really a 180 or a 
240 grit would be fine. But anyways, this one uh, is what I chose when I did, and I'm not disappointed by any means. Anyways, <clears throat> I'll do a shop tour eventually. Let's get a mask and face shield on here. Let me know if you'd like to see me do a little shop tour. I've been thinking about doing that. Anyway, <clears throat> okay. Speed all the way down. I'm going to bring my tool rest in just a little bit. And probably get a, right across this front edge here to clean up some of this uh, flat side as well while I'm at it. Bring that in. And, um, and then we'll form that tendon a little bit better as well. All right, all the way down, off to the side. And speed it up, okay. real fast. And it's actually not half bad right there. It's maxed out on this belt setting. It's about 1,650 RPM. In this thing, and that's out here. That's what it is. All right, let's see what we got going there. Just those little bits of bark, uh, bark area left. No more flat edge there. Excellent. All right, so let's just finish shaping this out here. And let's define that uh, tenon a little bit better as well.
getting there. We're getting there. Says I keep getting cut on that little knot. That's what it is. Let's cut in past that knot there, and that's what I'll be happy with. That's what I'll be happy with. Even that out a little bit. You know, he's still right there. Let's get him out of there. He did not need to be there. I'll take it because I'm going to even up that front side, anyways. Jeez. Yeah. Gotta watch out for doing that in the future. <clears throat> anyway, my uh, tenon pretty well even. I don't have a little flat shoulder. Let's get a little bit flatter. See if we can at least. That should be good. All right, let's flip it around. We'll come on back. Okay, we got her flipped around, <clears throat> uh, cleared up for the tourist. Uh, speeds all the way down. Come off to the side. Crank it up from here. Yeah, go in
んだけど。Taking off that bottom quite a bit more. I'm going to leave this the way it is. I'm going to sand this out a little bit. Although that's still fairly thick there, although I might、uh, clean that bottom up a bit. So we'll leave that there the way it is. We're going to clean that up a little bit. <clears throat> Let's clean up this、uh, front. We'll、uh, sand that down. And then we'll flip this around. And.、Uh, See if we can't clean up that bottom a bit. There, I got it down to about seven fifty. Hand sand the rest. Next up is Next up is、uh, 240. Get some finish on this here. Maybe got the light on there at least too. <laughs> yeah, last portion I recorded without any light on there. Sorry about that. That's what happens when you take a break and forget when you get back. Okay. <clears throat> got some abrasive paste. It's、uh, made with carnauba wax, beeswax, diatomaceous earth, and mineral oil. Let me just get. This on generously. Only doing the front face here because that's all that I really have finished at this point. Should be all done with it at least. So now that this has been heated up and roughed in, I'm going to come back with the dry side of my cloth. Get that all rubbed in. I'm also at the lowest speed right now. I'm about 400 RPM. 450.、Right, so dry part of our leg. And I'm not wrapping it around my fingers at all. I'm just pressing against it and kind of just, you know, crab clawing it. Just let this rub in and do its thing. Should make this all nice and. Nice and pretty, like. <laughs> All right. There we go. <clears throat> I'm a fan of oak. It's just that grain is so interesting to me. Sapwood to sapwood, pretty interesting piece. All right, well, 
we'll let that sit for a little bit. And we'll uh, get it flipped around and clean up that uh, tenon on there. And think about exactly how I want to flip that around as well. We'll see. All right, we'll be back. Okay, here we go. Got it flipped around into my pole jaws. Sure this is a good way to, to do it this time around. This is actually my first time ever using coal jaws, so if I'm using them incorrectly, please let me know. <laughs> I think I got it right. It looks like it. This guy's nice and firm. It's flat all the way against the backside. Everything's even. It's tight, nice, even pressure. Not too too much pressure, but even pressure. I've got it all the way low uh, on my RPM. So I'm bringing it up there. It does say max speed of 600 RPM, so I'm not going to bring it up very much, if any. Uh... Bring it up to about 5.30 there. I don't really need a whole lot. I take out the in inside and then I'm going to create a little foot with the tenon I've decided. enough. Alright, let's fix this and uh, we'll bring it back. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? All the way down, off to the side. It says max speed 600 RPM. I don't really want to head over that. It's about 540, 550. bulk of it there at least. I'm going to come back with a uh, small, my small excuse down here. It's almost like a tiny um, bowl gouge almost. I'm going to come back, I'm going to bead this over on both sides and then I'll get a, a little recess for my uh, um, medallion in the bottom here. And then I'll come back and sand this and clean it all up. There we go. So we got this sitting at about 550 still. Here we go, just a little bit higher. About 570 or so. Tail stock out of here. For the recess, recess kind of nice to Perfect. Now I'll go into the bottom of this. Um, I'm going to do that on my drill press. I just recently got it, so I'm going to put that for a little bit of use. Go through the bottom, get my medallion put into place, then we'll get this put back on here on the jaws. And uh, we'll get this cleaned up. Yeah. We'll be back. Oh, well, that'll work. Turns out my camera does look at my drill press. Cool. So that should you not right there. All right. This is on the lowest setting, by the way. Perfect. Oh, it's so much better. Nice and even. Then gold leaf. 
through, give it plenty of room. Oh, that makes me happy. All right. Okay, medallion's been drilled and uh, set. And uh, now we're just going to work on cleaning up this bottom a little bit better. Uh, let's grab my small um, spill gouge. Still have this at what, 500 RPM? 550? Yeah, 550. Should be okay, 530. -ish. Oh, by the way, this is definitely going to be one of my personal ones. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I'm getting rid of this one. This is a special. I tried this. I did it. I'm keeping this for like a little collection type thing. Not a big fan of the cold jaws. I want to get in here and get more of the sanding done. But... Okay. Okay. Wipe down a little bit of Everclear. Clean off a lot of that dust. Okay, so we'll finish that in for the most part. Um, it turned out all right. Not too bad, all in all. Let's see some of that. Uh, see some shine off of that already, which is nice. Anyways, I've got some um, abrasive paste right here. I'm just going to put this on generously and then use a little bit of elbow grease myself and uh, press this into the grain, rubbing it all over the place. Trying to build up some friction along the way. You can see that's already changed color quite substantially. And it's already looking nice and shiny, a lot better. It is an abrasive. <laughs> Just to let you know. Let's see. There we go.
Not bad, not bad at all. Let's say. I only sanded the bottom to 320, the top to 400. <clears throat> On there. One edge right in there. There we go. All right. Well, what do you think? Not bad. Not at all. Well, try to get this up here a little bit better. Get a piece of my grain. Uh, all right, our final dimensions are just under six inches, so basically right at six inches there, and of course depth is only about one inch or so. That might be easier, maybe a little less than an inch, more like a half an inch. Okay, <clears throat> anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this content, go ahead and subscribe, share it with your friends. Um, I'm still fairly new, always learning more, always doing more. I uh, still have more projects to complete for this year, and um, I hope you'll join me for those in the future here. And until then, I wish you many happy turnings.